You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. Mainly for the 13 year olds watching this podcast, studying civics, what is a day in the life of a cabinet minister like? Is it a full barrage of like problems and strategy thrown at you? Because there's no way you know how a train exactly works even though you're a railway minister. So there's got to be experts around you. Wherever there's experts, there's problems. That's what I'm assuming. And there's just a constant stream of tasks. You know, you have uh, a lot of personal life also. So don't ever imagine that we are just like machines. Really? So my morning tea with my wife with almonds and uh, fruit and the news with the 20 different newspapers <sighs> and the television blaring away is a must do. Can't start the day without that. Fortunately for me, uh, and I think your viewers or listeners will also be commenting on my voice. I've had a throat problem all my life, probably hereditary in some sense. But during COVID, it used to be probably worse. And uh, one day sitting with the Honorable Prime Minister, he said, you want to sort out your problem? I said, of course. And he says, you got to do yoga. <laughs> And uh, I still remember it was 16th of July, 2020. Going to be three years now. He got me hooked on to yoga. Really? Pranayam and it's really been a game changer. for me. Even as a professional, it's probably benefited you? Yes, because while you are doing all those asanas and pranayam and all, you don't have any other time to think about anything else. You're just following the instruct, intra, instructor's uh, directions. So it gives you a little bit of a peaceful time that kind of meet my time, mm. you know. And uh, post-yoga, I'm a little religious as I told you. I would have ideally liked to say my prayers, but it's always difficult to catch that in the morning. Then you're on the work trail, then you're on a crazy schedule. And for, for that's how? where I mess up. I mean, my lunch is at five o'clock in the evening sometimes. Dinner would be, you, I just had dinner before the show because I've got to go back home. I'm technically on antibiotics. And mm. uh, if, I, if I hadn't had that dinner, I would probably not be going back home tonight. Mm. Okay. So it's a natural family life like anybody else's. But during the day, it's a lot of work to catch up on, a lot of public engagements, a lot of meeting of people. When parliament is in session, you're busy with parliament. You're traveling very extensively throughout other parts of the country, even internationally. All of that is work. But then I don't sleep without saying my prayers. Wherever possible, I'll do my treadmill before I sleep. If it's too late in the night, I'll at least walk for about 45 minutes. And now you can start listening to podcasts on the treadmill. I, say, I listen to bhajans on the treadmill. Okay, okay. So uh, that also I've made as a routine. So that way I have to do it. You know, gotcha. it's made sure that I do my treadmill every day. Okay. Because I'm listening to the bhajans. Gotcha. And uh, before I sleep, almost every night, thanks to COVID, there's a habit I picked up in COVID and it's been a great habit. We watch one episode of any serial on the OTT platform. Uh, very chilling, very relaxing. We watch some wonderful stuff uh, on television. My wife and I, my kids are out. So we're just the two of us. It's, it's our chill out time. But you sleep very peacefully. Because mm. you've kind of got over the whole day's work. You enjoyed uh, about 30 minutes or 40 minutes of television. I have just concluded the Rocket Boys. Uh -huh. And I think that's that's a lovely day well spent before you get up the next morning. So if you enjoy this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.